Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Before we go any further, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can stay in touch with my upcoming natural healthy living tips. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a really simple, easy dishwashing liquid at home using some very basic ingredients. This is safe for sensitive skin and it is still just as effective as the store-bought counterparts. To start off with, I'm just putting one tablespoon of normal table salt into a glass jug and to that I'm adding three tablespoons of boiled water. We're just going to stir that until all of the salt is dissolved. Now believe it or not, this salty solution actually makes up the thickener for our dishwashing liquid. Now on the stove top, I'm just heating up one cup of water and to that I'm adding in one tablespoon of washing soda. And we're just going to stir this until the washing soda has all dissolved. You'll know it's all dissolved when your liquid then turns clear. So I've taken that off the stove top and to that I'm going to add in a quarter of a cup of Dr. Bronner's Cell Suds. This is our awesome cleaning portion of our dishwashing liquid. So we're just going to pour that in and then stir it all up. So you can see that's thickening up just nicely now from our cell suds. So our next step is to add in some optional essential oils. So there are a few that I really love. I am putting into mine about 10 drops of lemongrass, about 10 drops of lemon, and another 10 drops of sweet orange oil. So you can easily customize this to whatever your favorite scent is, or if you have super sensitive skin, you could maybe just put in a bit of lavender or omit the essential oils altogether. This is the point too where you can add in the table salt if you wish. Now it's always weather dependent on how thick your mixture actually gets. Because mine has got a bit thicker than usual this time around, I'm going to omit the table salt. But if you do choose to use it, just start with a tablespoon at a time. This mixture will thicken a little bit more as it sits in your cupboard, so just be aware of that. You can always add some more later on to your mixture if you find it is too runny. I'm just using an old Eco Store detergent bottle that I have had previously to store my liquid in. I like using these ones because it's really thick plastic, which is safe to use for essential oils. Ideally, I would have a glass jar, but I just don't have the space on my bench to sit it without it getting knocked up and broken. So this is my next best bet. And that's it, we're done apart from the dishes. So now it's the fun part of doing the dinner's dishes. So this will soap up, you'll get the sudsiness happening. It won't last as long as normal detergent, but it's not really the suds that are cleaning our dishes. So don't be fooled by thinking you've got to have the suds to get the clean dishes. It still works without the suds. Thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you thumbs it up and hit that subscribe button and the little bell thing so you get notified when I post new videos. You can also find out a lot more about the natural things I make at home on my website at mandymakes.com.au. Let me know in the comments below if you try this dishwashing liquid and how it works out for you. I would love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.